What's going on YouTube Nation? This is the Coffee Bean Jam and this is going to be I believe the fifth episode of our little GIMP tutorial here. Now in this episode we're going to start creating some mountains, some forests and uh, adding some uh, terrain features and uh, it's it's not hard at all. Um, first thing you're going to need to do though is Google up some paint brushes. You're going to want the mountains, uh, forest, these ones that I have over here and I will dig around and I'll find those links and I'll put them down in the uh, video information for you. Um, every computer, you know, depending on what system you're running, Linux, Windows, or whatever the case, you have to install brushes a little bit differently. Um, I run a Linux system, so um, I went through and installed these brushes ahead of time. Everything's set. You will have to uh, just check in Google, you know, how to install GIMP brushes for whatever system you have, Windows 8, 10, 7, Linux, Mac, whatever the case might be. But um, I will at least try to put the uh, link to these brushes into the comments or into the uh, video description below. But that aside, once you get the brushes, they're installed and you're ready to go. You're going to take your basic world that you are working with. You should have your basic terrain set up. You should have your lights and your darks. Give them this place a little bit of a feel. And uh, first thing we're going to do is create layers. Everything needs to be done in layers. That way, if anything messes up, you can go back, fix it, delete it, and change things without messing up your other ones. And, uh, you know, I'm totally guilty of forgetting to make layers or accidentally putting uh, the layers or the, you know, what's supposed to be on a layer onto a different one or something, you know. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to create one called Mountains. And then we're going to create one called Forests. This is the case where I constantly forget. I'll end up putting the forest on the excuse me, mountain one and so forth. Um, we're going to move our light down. We want them that way it's above the dark. Everything stays highlighted like it's supposed to be. And the forest and mountains are going to be the two we're focused on at this point. Now I have like swamp and other little things in here, hills. But we'll just, we only need to have the forest and the mountains. So we're going to start with the mountains. What you want to do, you make sure you have your brush. You're going to choose the mountain that you want to start with. Um, I like this one right here. This, I don't know what it's called. But, you know, the one that's kind of down at a angle here, down to the door, bottom right. Now, this little block over here resets the ratio size. You always want to use this. Every time you pick a different one of these brushes, click this ratio size. Because that makes it at the proper ratio so that it looks the cleanest and it looks the nicest. So we're going to click this one. See, it takes it up to 165. And that's about the size right there of how our big our mountains are going to be. We want to use black. This will give it a good hard edge so that we can see it. Make sure your opacity is all the way up to 100 and you want the mode to be normal. Make sure you have your paintbrush black and make sure your opacity is back up to 100. Because don't forget when we were back over doing the lights and darks, we turned this opacity down. So make sure you turn it all the way back up to 100. Get your mountain and you're ready to go. And this is really, again, just a trial and error. You're going to place stuff around on the map, see what you like, what you don't. Every time you place something, you get a few ideas. You can hit Control Z to undo it, or you can go up here and edit, undo, whatever. So, again, I'm just kind of going to fast forward through part of this as I lay things out and move stuff around and try and decide what I want to do. So, I'm going to start doing that now.
All right, so now I've added in my forests. I've added in a little bit of grassy features here to give people a sense that these are more plains and open areas. Um, now, certainly later on, if I wanted to kind of uh, zoom in on an area, say like this area right here is where I decided to put a big part of the campaign, I could take in, zoom into these areas, and build another map around here, tightening everything up, giving things more atmosphere, or whatever. We're not doing that. We're keeping everything kind of big and open, expansed at the moment. And get off there. So select none. So this is our basic map. We've added our mountains. We've added our forests. In each one, I'd made sure I was stayed on my layer. So if I need to just work on mountains, they're there. If I just need to work on forests, they're there. So once we have our basic terrain down, we're actually going to go back to our lights and our darks for a moment. Going to make sure we click our brush. We're going to go up to this really uh, rate high radius one. Hardness is way down. We're going to turn our opacity way back down to 10 again. 10. And we're going to start with our darks. Make sure we're on our dark layer. Brush. Have the right brush. Opacity's down. Always double check. We're going to make the size fairly big though. I'm going to put it up to about, yeah, let's make it even bigger. Let's put it up to about 70. Alright. And these areas, we're just going to give them a little bit of dark to give them uh, atmospheric sort of feel and up in here as well and you don't need much just a little touch and this you know it kind of gives that sense that the thicker denser forest so the lighting isn't quite as good in there and darkens it up a bit and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna drag along the side of the mountains here a little bit you know, they're already shaded a little bit, but, you know, this just gives a little more atmosphere to it. Just kind of tightening everything up, making it look nice. And then we're going to swap over to our light, change over to our white, same thing. And just kind of give it a little, just a little bit here. And give these and start and to see, it's kind of come to life a little bit. Now we're actually going to be going through and coloring these mountains, giving them even more life. Same with the forest, and bringing everything together nicely. And we're going to kind of come down through here. Now in some areas you might want to zoom right in, which you can easily just to, uh, hit the control button and use your scroller on your mouse to zoom in areas. Quick little tip for you. And let's get this one too. That's about good. I don't see anything else I really want to tweak yet. Oh, I didn't really get these mountains over here. I'm going to kind of bring through. And that actually reminds me of another little tip for you. Cool thing about when you add these terrains, don't feel afraid to kind of go off the map or whatever, because this gives you a sense of wonder of what's over there. You have this big mountainous ridge. You know, what could it be garden? What could be on the other side of that? Same up here, you have this big forest, and there isn't, most of my other forests I kept tight to the mountains. This one, there's no mountains around it, so it's almost like, you know, what's going on up there? Maybe there's an elven uh, city or something up there. And this one right here, kind of give it a little bit of a swampy sort of nature, almost a jungly sort of look. Um, you can easily make that into whatever you wanted. But don't be afraid to leave stuff off the edge, you know, it gives us a sense of wonder, a sense of life almost, you know, because we're not really focusing on just what's here on the map. There's more to it because, you know, the train goes off into different directions. So there's more out there. It kind of makes people wonder a little bit, you know. And, and I think we're pretty, pretty good here. I'm going to tighten up these mountains over here, make them a little bit brighter, and we are ready to roll onto our next uh, series. So, you guys keep tweaking, keep changing your settings a little bit and giving some things to life and uh, bear with me on through the rest of the series and you guys should have a good map to use for your next game. So, have a great day and keep on gimping.